is on page 18. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make this to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore His sacred name. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the across my path 
I have said to the Lord, You are my God. Lord, hear the cry of my appeal. Lord, my God, my mighty help. You shield my head in the battle. Do not grant the wicked their desire, nor let their plot succeed. Those surrounding me lift up their heads. Let the malice of their speech overwhelm them. Let the coals of fire rain upon them. Let them be flung in the abyss no more to rise. Let the slanderer not endure upon the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to death. I know the Lord will avenge the poor, that he will do justice for the needy. Truly the just will praise your name. The upright shall live in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before Him. I tell Him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said, You are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry. For I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me. For they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trades my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior. My shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my roof. Lord, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down, 
Touch the mountains, breathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty water. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies whose heads are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string lute. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons that flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing, with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If the Son makes you free, you will be free in You alone are holy, you alone are God. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. <clears throat> Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor? For the glory to your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this. Let him who thirsts come forward, and him who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You alone are holy, you alone are God. St. James. Declare your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may find healing. The fervent petition of a holy man is powerful indeed. My brothers, the case may arise among you of someone straying from the truth and of another bringing him back. 
Remember this, the person who brings a sinner back from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sins. When the bridegroom is taken away from them, then there will then will be the time for the wedding guests to fast. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. When the bridegroom is taken away from them, then will be the time for the wedding guests to fast. The Savior of mankind, by dying, destroyed death, and by rising again, restored life. Let us humbly ask Him. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. May your mother comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. For the campus pr uh, pr purchase project for its success.
pray for Father Sam and for all the parishioners, all souls, for the Knights of Columbus, for Dave and for Linda, for her health. Father Father Christ, Sam. For all of our benefactors' intentions. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory, and bring us at last into their fellowship. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. <laughs> Martyrology of March the 4th. 1484, the heavenly birth of St. Casimir, hereditary prince and celestial patron of Poland and Lithuania. In the midst of royal luxuries, he knew how to maintain a great love for the poor, for poverty, and for chastity, all thanks to an intense life of prayer. The year of grace, 254, St. Lucius I. Pope and confessor of the faith. The few months of his pontificate were spent in exile, for he died soon after returning to Rome. Saint Cyprian had greeted him, had, had greeted his return with joy. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints, whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.